your stage list to me yeah. like a year Some ago. A year ago? Yes. I've only been casting for a year. Exactly. All right, back to, back to the match. We got Z-Greds versus Kamex here. So like we were saying, Little Mac versus Sonic could be a little problematic for Little Mac, but I've seen Z-Greds do some incredible stuff in some bad matchups, so I won't be surprised. Well, what we're seeing he does here, well too, here. is that, right, you, well, we just saw the matchup in a nutshell. One of Mac's best tools out of disadvantage is that is that falling in, in oh gosh, um, is that falling neutral special, right? That ability to charge the super armor, find your way down. But a lot of Sonic's moves, especially with Rage, will hit him right out of that. At Zeke's been able to find his way down a couple times early, but has a ways to go to get back into this one. He needs a way to close out, out the stock fast, and he's just gonna look for a platform tech chase in order to do so. And one thing I think that needs to be noted when you're watching Zeke Reds play is that he loves to grab. Little Mac doesn't get a lot off of grabs, but it's just to condition you to not shield because shielding is so, is pretty good against Little Mac. But uh, if he continues continues that, to grab you, and that sorry that F smash was so smart utilizing the armor there right through the spin down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he, he's going to utilize armor a lot throughout this. That's why we're seeing a lot of neutral beat early on too, is because the armor on that is so yep. is so helpful. Yeah, charging lunge, as you mentioned, right, super strong to get back down to the ground. But right now, Zeke is just trying to find any way to keep those feet on the ground long enough to get something started. And this is one of the issues, is that once Sonic has the lead, he can just kind of sit above those plats, hit his spring up, reset, and chase you until he finds that stray hit, then just keep you juggled, keep you in the air. Zeke is fighting valiantly to try and pin down this blue blur, but Waffle, what can he possibly find What here? can he possibly find? An F-Tilt, which is going to KO, and he's got the KO punch. The, I've seen Zeke win these. The oh, no. Eye. I would say the Misty Eye, but after six seconds, he put himself in tumble, right? Lost that KO punch. Full on out. The tech chase off the down smash. I like the down angle there. A little bit more shield damage, but more than that, just the ability to find a further tech chase. He lost his side special, but saves the downer and the jump to find his way back. That was so smart. That was very smart from Zeke Reds, and we're seeing him put put on a little bit of pressure on the Kamex. He was up a, a lot, and now he gets hit with an F smash, and it, it's anyone's game at this point, even though it doesn't look like it. Yeah, Zeke buffering that roll off ledge was almost terrifying, just swinging his way through Ooh, once again, not gonna close it out on Kamex here. They're trying to find the Joel Haymaker, doesn't find it in neutral air, gonna close it on out. Zeke fought valiantly, brought it back from the brink, but unfortunately, Time ran out, no lucky charm that one last time. I'm my friend, he went down for the count. One more game left for him here in Losers. And that was close. Maybe it'll bait him into sticking with a little Mac, but I'm gonna be honest, man. I wanna see the Aegis right now. I don't, I don't wanna see, I, I thought the little Mac played well. Other than getting absolutely messed up in the first 30 seconds of the match, he played the matchup really, really well. And I think that if he doesn't like lose his first stock, zero to 100 to death, I think he'll be fine in this matchup. I think I think you're wrong. Well, the, the, he read the DI there to find this grab afterwards, finding 50% off of a grab chain there, just off straight DI, then using the up special, oh, oh there, that rising uppercut to find Frame three out of shield to just find so much extra pressure. Unfortunately, oh my god, he just tried to find the spike to boot. Zeke is cooking here on Hollow Bastion. He is definitely cooking right there. And that is not something that uh, people playing Little Mac expect to happen to them, is for him to challenge you in the air off the stage, which was a really smart option there from Zeke Reds. And he is playing hot into this game too, taking the first stock. Uh, however, all it takes is one interaction for Sonic to close that stock out. One of the best edge guarders in the game versus the worst single offstage disadvantage. The question is, how does Mac find his way back to keep that stage control? Frame one jab, not gonna do you anything when you just swing into the air. And Sonic is gonna try and turn this boxer into a shadow boxer. Yeah, I was kind of surprised there that uh, Kamex decided to use a, the neutral air as the finisher from that combo and not the forward air to try to get Zeke offstage in that situation. But he finds the stock anyways, and we are at an even game. Only 17% in it, that's nothing for, for Sonic. Who we've seen blow up uh, Little Mac in this matchup today for more percent. One of the big issues is that even though the Smash Attack to armor through the spin attack, right, you still cross up Little Mac. He's not able to confirm that into a, into a hit, right? He's not able to punish you. He's just able to take not take knockback and reset the situation. 
which allows Sonic to still control the pace, find pressure in situations oh, like oh, this, and not find a spike. I, Camex is going crazy right now, and Zeke with one stock left here on Winner's Side. What can he make happen? I mean, yeah, Zeke was getting kind of predictable on those recoveries. Camex knew, knowing that if he was for the side B there, the down air was a perfect punish to get the KO. And now he has quite a bit of a lead here, but Little Mac is one or two hits away from getting a KO for himself, so he's not too far out of it, but he can't let this lead get too much bigger. Zeke trying to swing for the stock there, didn't find his mark, the spot dog on uh, to avoid the grab, though, very smart from him. And now a reset to neutral. He's trying to find a way in, but Sonic is so hard to pin down. Rising uppercut gonna close it out. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, last stock scenario, KO Punch online, finds the Joel Haymaker back to stage. This is Kill Percent looking for the DI and didn't find it and gonna look for the KO Punch here. Yeah, Zeke was definitely trying to bait out an option from uh, Kamex there. Very importantly, Kamex did not bite. And now there's no KO Punch on the board, which should uh, level uh, Kamex nerves. But Zeke Reds will never give up. Despite the matchup not being good, despite being down a lot of percent, he is still in this. Yeah, and beautiful spacing there to find those da that down tilt pressure into the Jolt Haymaker confirm. One stock left. Zeke so close to closing out this game. He has brought this one all the way back. He just barely lost out on game one. Lost out on that counter pick advantage. Now trying to keep his life here in winner's bracket Ooh. alive. But Kamex is going to get up. Get out there and send you supersonic racing all the way down to loser's bracket where you have to make quite the run at this 100-person event to even make top eight. Yeah, I was very impressed by both players' play in that set, you know. Um, Camex, who was able in the first game to just get an early lead and then sustain it, and then Zeke, both games, being at a deficit, coming back and making it a last stock game in both games. In another timeline, Zeke wins that set, you know, closing out the, the last hit. Bias but, commentator uh, alert. Bias, bias commentator alert. That's just literally talking about how close the game. I know, were. I'm giving you a hard time. What? No, oh, that's just bad memes. <laughs> Be funnier. Uh, something something. Waffle's favorite thing to do is to lie to the people, but he doesn't I, like I, it when I do it. Uh, when did I lie? Explain to me when I lied. Always. Always? Yeah. But one today. of us tells the truth, explain one of us always me, lies. Explain to me when I lied today. One of us tells the truth, I, one of us always just, lies. just, like, have not explained to me when I've lied today. That's crazy. Anyways, folks. Anyways, Ritual is trying to... T I'm going to sue Ritual for defamation um, for... Uh, Do you claiming even know how to I, fill out the paperwork? Claiming that I lied? No, nope, but I, I can hire a lawyer. You have that money? Uh, I guess you do I, have a I, job. I do have that money. Hey. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Waffle, did you anyway. just try to riz up the chat? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> chat. 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 You have to choose between this man in cargo shorts or Riz Tool. Cargo shorts. Who do you pick? First of all, I don't have, po I don't have like nine pockets pick, on my shorts. Who do you pick? Look. Let us know on Twitter. You can tag us with your answers oh down below God, or please. in the Twitch chat. Please don't do that. Why? Which, which one you'd pick between I, Riz Tool and, and the Waffle well, Man? You also have Riz Tool, which isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a you problem, that's man. You, you and Snivy that's came up with better it. better branding. You and Snivy came up with it. You gave it to me. Look, I have heart, and that's all that matters, and I think the people will recognize that. Yeah, I but I've got heart and soul. And Riz.